Oh man, it's the grab bag. So, I am not a serial killer. It's a book series by Dan Wells. And, <laughs> yeah, the whole reason I first bought this book when I got Audible, uh, 10, no, gosh, almost like 15 years ago or something, I, I signed up for Audible back when I was working in a factory. Um, I just recently listened to this again, first time in multiple years, uh, and the title of the book was the whole reason I bought this book to listen to, because I was like, what? I am not a serial killer. What is this? This is kind of sounds fun. Uh, and then when I got to listen to the book, I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty interesting. It's pretty dark. And the only reason the main character is not a serial killer is because he's trying his best to not kill people. So, uh, I Am Not a Serial Killer is a book about a boy named John Wayne Cleaver. And he is the son of a man named Sam. And the first serial killer he ever discovered was John Wayne Gacy. And he also is probably a little bit on the spectrum. And he is, uh, has, well, he's a sociopath. And the entire book is him being obsessed with dead bodies, wanting to see dead bodies, and barely being able to connect with humans in general. And then a string of murders happen in, in his town, and he gets obsessed with it, and he tries to find out who's doing it, and then he goes to stop who's doing it. My biggest issue with this book is they reveal the fact that the villain, the main bad guy in this book, is not human way too early. Um, it's literally during a paragraph, we found out later that it was a demon that was killing everyone. And it's like, no, why'd you do that? They should have saved it for when uh, the, the main character's neighbor is an elderly man named Bill Crowley. A lot of thought there. Let's name our character who's a demon after Crowley. Uh, so Bill Crowley is an old man who lives literally right next door to John Wayne Cleaver. And he has a wife named Kay. And he is not actually human. And of course, John Wayne Cleaver lives with his mom, and they live right above a mortuary. And John Wayne Cleaver helps his mom embalm and prepare dead bodies. Um, so he has seen dead bodies quite often. And he knows a lot about how to take care of them. You know, like getting all the blood out and disinfecting bodies and stuff. So, that's your setup premise. Uh, suddenly, people start dying in town, and they're all missing an organ or something. And John tries to figure out who's doing it. And eventually, he, he starts to follow people because he's obsessive-compulsive and stuff. And he just, eventually, uh, he thinks that it could be this you know uh, drifter who's in the town and he's following this drifter around and then the drifter gets picked up by bill crowley and bill crowley's like oh you want to go ice fishing and brings him out to the lake and that's when bill crowley transforms into an inhuman monster and literally guts the dude and steals some of his organs and John watches this in horror and also in fascination and has to then plan how to stop Bill Crowley from doing it. So it's a little bit tragic with Bill Crowley because he is trying to keep his body going. 
And this is, okay, so this is something that comes from the later books, and I have listened to all six, just, um, I've listened to the first three multiple times, but the second three, not too many times, so this is kind of just something that comes in later on. Uh, there were a group of immortal, uh, a group of people who wanted to be immortal, so they did a ritual where they have to sacrifice something about themselves to become immortal. And Bill Crowley sacrificed his own body, so he would be immortal, but he would need other people's bodies. So he would take them over and live in other people's bodies, um, and. So he didn't want to give up Bill Crawley's body because he was deeply in love with Kay. So he was killing people to steal organs to keep his body going as long as it possibly could so he could live until she died. And he was not killing the way he used to where he would literally just take over somebody's whole body. But when he did that, he would become that person. And so John uses this to figure out how to stop him. And there's a lot of a lot of death, a lot of violence. And eventually John does succeed in stopping Bill Crowley. Um, and that, of course, sets up the follow up books. And the next two books are kind of like a, a set trilogy. And I'm already listening to the next one, which is Mr. Monster. Um and it's a lot of fun, but it's dark and very descriptive death. And it gets a lot harder as it goes on because the other demons, the other people who had given up parts of their humanity are actually a lot worse than Bill Crowley because Bill Crowley... As much as, yes, he was murdering people, it was simply because he wanted to stay alive in that body. And he was regretting what he was doing. But the future bad guys uh, are very different. So the one that he's going to go up next is somebody who gave up emotions. But uh, just like Bill Crowley, he's able to get them from other people. And, of course, the villain in the third book has no identity, so it takes over people's identity. It's very similar to Crowley with the whole body thing, and that book is very tragic. Um, and I thought it was going to end there, and I thought it was fine where it ended in that book, but it kept going. So, um, yeah, so uh, that was my quick review. I don't want to spoil too much. But it's a very fun series. Catch you later.